Thomas Turner here and today I'm going to show you how to use the blur tool in Photoshop so what I will be doing is basically doing a shutter effect making the car stand more out than the background as you can see we've got a forest and the car it doesn't stand out you know we're gonna make the the background of the forest a bit blurred out you know but and I'm gonna show you the basics of the blur tool okay so first thing we we'll go to the tools tab on here and then we go to the blur tool as you can see here so it works just like a brush so we're gonna make it let's have a look we're going to make it 140 and 124 pixels um, zero hardness so it's nice soft brush we're gonna create a new layer and we're gonna double click the locks layer I'm just gonna start with smudging things one thing what we can do as you can see here, it says strength so I'm just gonna put the strength to 100 and we'll see the difference in just a minute as you can see here more we go over it the more dense it becomes there's a big difference now and I'm just gonna carry on going around here and one thing what we can do if we make a selection with the pen tool and let's say we just want around the car so we can just I'm just doing this quickly let's say we just want all around here works just like the brush tool in Photoshop if you've used it before So what this will do, this is just going to select um, a compartment for us. So there we go. So now I'm going to click make selection. And now I'm going to go back to the... Um, now I'm going to go back to the blur tool. I'm going to put the hardness on 100. I'm just going to rub it all. Make all the background blurry. there we go now as you can see all the backgrounds uh, blurred so that's pretty much how you use the blur tool in Photoshop hope this has helped and I hope this has helped and shown you how to use it thanks for watching and see you in the next one check out treehouse the best online learning platform for developers you can learn any coding language from simple HTML to complicated JavaScript you can even learn how to code an app for iOS or Android. Check them out now and you can get a 7 day free trial. I've been using them recently and they're great. So check them out with a link in the description.